Okay. Okay. All right. Calm down. Let me explain. So you've looked at the thumbnail and you've looked at the title of this video. And I know what you're thinking. Right off the bat, you are currently thinking this. Oh my god! At last! After a year! So many videos I've had to bypass just so I can have this moment. Finally, at long last, CMG makes a football related video. Is this it? Is this it? The time where Chris Modder Games finally converts his Overwatch based channel into a football one? No. No. The only reason I'm doing this video is because I'm playing a retro game. It's on the Game Boy and it's part of retro games. However, this is a World Cup special retro gaming video, okay? This does not mean that I'm going to be playing more football videos or more football games on this channel. This is the only time I'm doing it. Hence the fact this is a World Cup special and it's for a limited time only. Do not ask me to do any more football videos after this. There's going to be plenty of Overwatch and Paladins and more retro games. The usual stuff immediately after this. I am not doing another video on football, okay? This is the last time. Or the only time I'm going to be doing this, in fact. So, with that out of the way, what is up, you geezer, bloke, tight geezers? It is Chris Marder Games here, and welcome to a very limited edition of Retro Games. In fact, this is a World Cup special because the FIFA World Cup in Russia 2018 is going on right now, and I thought that I would bring football back uh, to the channel, only for a limited time. So, we are playing the Game Boy version of International Superstar Soccer. Um, now, I do have the PlayStation 1 version of this, um, and, well, I do believe I actually played that game a long time ago. Yes, a long time ago. Maybe around 2011 or 2012 or whatever, I actually made a video of the actual game. Um, but, yeah, this is, as you can see, I'm actually playing this on my, my, uh, retro arc. Uh, so without any further ado, let's press the start button. Now, this is actually a very nostalgic game to me, this, uh, this version of International Superstar Soccer. Uh, because I did actually play two- well, actually, I did play three versions of this game. Nintendo 64, the PlayStation 1, and the Game Boy, which you're looking at right now. Um, the- the Nintendo 64 one was, uh, the version of the game which I play with a lot of- with my friends. Uh, because I was big into football at the time. Uh, I also used to rent out the PlayStation 1 version. Um, and, well, I ended up buying- the Game Boy version, because I thought at the time, because I was a very small kid, not knowing anything from Adam about games, just buying them because they're football related, um, I ended up buying this game because I thought it was going to look like the Nintendo 64 version, and how very wrong I was making that statement, because, well, it was a completely different game, because Game Boy isn't as good as the Nintendo 64 in terms of graphics, it's very, very obvious that that's the case. But, um, yeah, this is extremely nostalgic, because like I said, I still own this game on Game Boy. And, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I don't know, just play a game, I guess. I'm not really too, I'm not really too sure how I'm gonna present this game. But, um, yeah. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I don't know what the... Okay, sorry about that, people. I had to configure, um, the controls for my controller, because I had the wrong setting. So, uh, yeah, uh, so let's go ahead and just go open game, um, and yeah, what we'll do is we will select England, and we'll play the first opponent of the World Cup, which is Tunisia, so yeah, let's just do that. Oh yes, here we go, this is, so this is the, this is the part of the game where you can select the condition of the players. I always used to like, um, setting my players to the best condition and my opponent to the worst condition. Well, because I was a kid, really, I wasn't really... I didn't really care too much about um, uh, ability, really. I just uh, selected. So, yeah, you can also select the goalkeeper's level as well. You can make him amazing, or you can make him terrible. All right, so let's start the game. Let's start the game. All right, so coin toss. Uh, let's go heads or tails. I will go... Let's assume that the one I've selected is tails. Um, okay, so we won. Okay, so we won the- we won the toss. Uh, we'll select- let's go to the right, I think. Alright, so here we go. 
A bit of nostalgia for you right here. Football game. Oh my god, shock horror. Chris Martin Games is actually playing a football game. Alright, so to pass the ball, it's actually very difficult because you've already got like a specific area of the field that you can maneuver around in. I'm playing a sh I assume to be Alan Shearer here. Go on, shoot it in the net. Oh, God, good save by the keeper. So, a little bit of history about this game. Because, oh, obviously, I used to own this game when I was a kid on my Game Boy. So, when I first played this game on my Game Boy, I was a bit uh, astounded because of the, the graphics, as I said. But also, I was a bit annoyed because this game was actually very infuriating. Um, so, what tends to happen is, in this game, is when you're about to shoot the ball, and you're about to shoot at the goalkeeper, the, 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 the defenders end up just sly-tackling you. See, you see what I mean? There's, there's no... Oh, it's a foul. That's very rare. Okay, so we've got a free kick. Alright, so let's see if we can try and... Uh, let's just do what Cristiano Ronaldo just did against Spain just now. Let's see if we can try and get this free kick in. It's right on the edge of the area. It should really be a penalty, but I'll take this uh, area here. Let's see if we can try and get it in. I guess not. Oh, can we follow it in? Nope. I don't know when this game came out. I think it may have been like 1998. I think it was during the... Um, the World Cup of 1998, which doesn't make any sense because, you know, Gascoigne is in this team and he wasn't actually picked for the France 98 World Cup team. Uh, because, you know, Glenn Hoddle didn't really like Gascoigne at the time. All right, go and get it in. Come on. Oh, oh, we got the ball. Ah, damn it. Oh, good pass. I think that was a through ball, I think. So who am I playing as? We're playing as Naval. Um, I'm assuming that's Gary Neville or Philip Neville. Who, who cares? I don't really know. Go on, get it in there. Go on, get it in there. Get it in there. Oh, yes, go on. Yeah, go on. Goal, 1-0 to England. So, uh, yeah, it was... Because um, obviously the Game Boy, the graphics are a bit limited. Um, but, you know, it, it presents the game in a way that you wouldn't really expect a Game Boy game to, to present football. But, you know, it does it really well. There is, however, a game mode in this, in this, where you can actually play a penalty shootout. And I've got to be honest, a penalty shootout in this game is a lot more fun than actually playing a match. Because I feel it's... I used to, when I was a kid playing this game, I used to li just literally just play the penalty shootout all the time. I kind of like boycotted the, um, the actual matches because I was terrible at it. Because when I was a kid, I wasn't really... I wasn't used to the um, the Game Boy version. I was so used to the uh, the, the Nintendo 64 version. I kind of like knew what that looked like. Um, that I kind of didn't care too much about the Game Boy version because it was it was well the Nintendo 64 version was far superior in graphics. All right, so that's half time, I think. Yeah, half time. Oh well, we're one nil up. That's pretty good. Eight shots on goal. That's uh, possession 62. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. All right, let's see if we can, let's see if we can do better in the second half. All right, here's what you can do as well. You can also change the um, the, the the formation. Um, well, let's just let's just stick to three five two for now. Um, can we can we change? Can we make substitutions? Let's have a look at the players here. We've got Simon, South got Southgate, Gareth Southgate is the current England manager. Um, Adams, Campbell, Ince, uh, Paul Ince, La Soc, La Sol. Who the hell is Jay Neville? Is that is that that's got to be Philip Neville, surely, or Gary Neville? But then Gary Neville never played number seven. He played two. Uh, you got Gaza Backham instead of Beckham, uh, Sheringham, uh, Alan Shearer. Um, can I see the? No, I don't think I can. You know what? I'm not I'm not gonna make this diff I'm not gonna make this difficult for myself. I want to make this video as quick as I can. Oh, that's how you. Oh, that's how you change change the substitutions. Okay, so let's let's get Skullsy on. All right, let's select him, uh, and then put him in for Lasso, um, and then that'll be that'll be it. All right, so we've just literally just started the game. There's no indication that I've actually made that substitution, but I'm willing to bet he's already on. Um, where's my sub? Where's my substitute that I just put on? Uh, oh, there he is, Skulls. There he is. I just put him on. So there's. I don't think there's any sort of graphic or thing for a substitution. Guess you're just gonna have to l like it or lump it, I guess. All right, Sheringham's on the ball. Uh, can he get through? Oh yes, he's he's through. Oh, the goalkeeper's. Well, that's a bit strange. Oh my god, there's a bit of a glitch going on there. What's going on there? Yeah, there's there's obviously there's the there's the normal standing tackle way, but uh, you can also do the slide tackle. But uh, that's prone to a foul, so you've got to be very careful about that. 
Well, that's the rules of football, obviously. All right, Ince going in for the shot here. Oh, I guess he's missed it. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. I'm not really too sure. There's no timer at the top there, so I'm, I'm just willing to bet that you just have to go with instinct. Uh, how, well, how long you've played. Oh, God. Tunisia are playing the ball around me here. All right, here's, here's Gascoigne. Oh, he's, 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 play, he's passed the ball back uh, because, you know... Um, yeah, I forgot. So there's a... Bleh, I can't talk. What is going on? All right, Gascoigne on the ball. All right, he's passed it to David Beckham. Uh, he's passed it to Alan Shearer. Can he fit, Can he go all the way here? Alan Shearer. Go on. Follow the ball in. Uh, never mind. Yeah, see, the only real problem about this game is that you literally just have to take the ball up to the goalkeeper, then just shoot the ball and hope he either misses it or he palms it out and then you just follow the rebound in. That's pretty much it. And you just got to hope that the other team doesn't score against you. Oh, God, there's nobody there. Oh, oh, my God. I thought I was going to go in for a minute there. The goalkeeper was nowhere near the ball. All right, Khan sharing him. Let's do this. Oh, no, I didn't mean to pass it there. But okay, all right, Shearer. Shearer's on the ball. Can he finish? Oh, damn it. See, yeah, you, you've got to just hope that the goalkeeper either palms it out and then you can just finish the ball. Or, uh, well, just just like I did earlier. Yeah, so the, so the graphics on the Game Boy are a bit, um... They're not as great as the, the, the original, um, the normal ISS games. There, there, are a lot, there are a lot of ISS games. I do believe that the ISS series kind of inspired the Pro Evolution series, I think, because obviously, because they were both from Konami. And, oh, oh my god! Oh my god, that went in! <laughs> that actually went in? <laughs> oh my days. How the hell did that go in? <laughs> oh my god, that is the best goal I've ever scored on this game. I don't think even my younger self would have been able to score something like that. <laughs> oh my god. That was an absolute long one. Okay, so it's now 2-0. Uh, and that's full time. That was the last kick of the game. Alright, so full time. And we win the game. We beat Tunisia 2-0. That's pretty much a fair result, right? I think that kind of result in the... Um, in this year's FIFA World Cup is kind of like a relatively... Realistic scoreline. I do believe that we actually played Tunisia in, in France 98 and we won by this same scoreline uh, So uh, yeah, there you go lads. That was a uh, that was a very 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 entertaining game of International Superstar Soccer for Game Boy. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen This was a very short episode or a very short video of me playing International Superstar Soccer for Game Boy. Now, as I've already stated at the beginning of this video, this is the only football game I'll be playing ever. So do not ask me to play another football game after this, because it's not going to happen. Okay, it's not going to happen. It's going to be Overwatch, Paladins, and regular retro gaming after this, and maybe a few other games if I feel like I want to add them. But that's it. That's, th that's it. That's the only... That's all I'm going to be adding to the channel, as of now. So... Yes, like I said, I've already cleared it up. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you for watching my World Cup special retro gaming video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at chrismon 9 Check me out on my Google, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitch, and of course, my eBay store. Make sure you click on the notification bell if you want to be updated with any videos that I intend to do in the future. And yes, I've been Chris Marta Games. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. Enjoy the World Cup, ladies and gentlemen. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Hey, door. And peace. Let's hope England beat Tunisia.